Welcome to today's talk. My name is Regina DeMeo. I'm a family law attorney in Maryland and DC. And with me today is Hunter Hart, a certified financial planner with Equity Planning. Thanks so much for being here today, Hunter. Hi, Regina. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Well, we're getting almost to the end of 2020. And I think uh, <laughs> those of us that have survived are looking at our finances. And so I had some questions I thought uh, maybe you could help people with. My first one is, when choosing a financial advisor, what do you think are some important things that people should consider? I think when choosing an advisor, one of the most important things you should consider is if your advisor is a fiduciary. And one way you can tell that is by asking them, obviously, also the credentials that they have. Um, the CFP or certified financial planner is one that most of the time they're going to be operating as a fiduciary. So that's probably one of the most important things to look for. Um, additionally, you want to look for personality. You know, is this someone that you like working with and someone that, um, you know, you know, is going to care about your account and, and your finances? And additionally, on top of that, is this somebody that you can trust? Those are the most important things, I think, to look for with an advisor. And when you're trying to get the full financial picture of a client, what information do you need aside from income, assets, and liabilities? So additional information that's really helpful is, you know, understanding the client's investment experience. So, you know, how they've been invested before, what types of um, stocks, bonds, mutual funds that they've used. That's all important to know. Also, probably the most important thing is understanding their goals. So trying to figure out short and long-term goals, how they want to use their resources and, you know, what's important to them, whether it's leaving a legacy, um, you know, saving for retirement, reducing taxes. These are all important things to understand about a client's financial situation. Um, and then finally is risk tolerance. I think, you know, you have to understand what amount of risk the client is comfortable taking in order to try to work towards their financial goals. Could the goals maybe change over time so that you have to keep checking in with your clients? Yeah, absolutely. You know, goals change as people's lives change, depending on, you know, where they are. So if they're initially looking to retire at 65, maybe things change and they want to retire earlier. So we can adjust the recommendations based off of what's going on in someone's life. Um, and additionally, you know, we try to check in quarterly to make sure that the plan's on track with uh, what their goals are. With couples, uh, how do you handle situations where maybe one person is more risk averse than the other, or one person uh, has a greater importance on saving than, than their spouse? How do you deal with that? Yeah, that's a really good question. You know, there's a lot of times when the risk tolerances aren't completely lined up. Um, and one good way can be to really understand the client's cash flow. And then from there, you can develop a, like an emergency fund that is usually enough to help the less risky person sleep at night with the majority of their investments, you know, in assets that are in investments that can go up and down. So generally we try to put aside enough into a stable fund, um, whether it's, you know, a savings account, money market, something like that, to be able to help the risk averse person, you know, deal with other investments that can go up and down. Do you also get to run projections for people? Like saying that if you save this much, this is on track where you should be in 15 years? Yeah, we can run projections based off of uh, various assumptions, whether it's, you know, you're spending X amount, what's that going to look like in 20 years um, versus, you know, you're saving and investing, how much is your nest egg going to be by the time you retire? So those are all things that we you know, look forward using um, different growth rates, different inflation rates, things like that. And do you sometimes need to work with other professionals to you know, make sure that your client's financial picture is, is completely taken care yeah. of? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we work with um, CPAs oftentimes to make sure 
clients are, you know, um, doing the right thing for their taxes. We also work with state attorneys, you know, to help clients make sure that their estates are, um, are in the wills and documents are up, up to date. And um, family attorneys, divorce attorneys, anytime there's a life event for somebody and another professional could be helpful, we're always um, working with different people in those aspects. Um, insurance agents also you know, to you know, help people get the right coverages to make sure they're protected. These are all times when we use different professionals outside of um, you know, financial advisors. This has been great. So if people wanted to contact you for further information, what's the best way to, to reach you? Um, the best way to reach me is by email. So just feel free to shoot me an email and um, we can set up a time to talk. We offer complimentary consultation to just understand more about your situation and you know see if um, our firm would be a good fit to help you out. Okay, And that's uh, the contact information on, on the screen right now? Yep, hunter at equityplanning.com is, is the best email to reach me. Perfect. Thanks so much for taking time to talk to us today. Thanks, Regina. All right. And thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next time.